मिड डे न्यूज इज बॉट यू बाय डोगरा ए वन डिजिटल हियरिंग एड सेंटर जम्मू ऑफरिंग स्पेशल डिस्काउंट फॉर द सीनियर सिटीजन एंड री एम्बर्समेंट स्कीम फॉर द गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लॉयज The full dress rehearsal for the Republic Day 2021 celebration was held on the Sunday at MA Stadium, Jammu, amidst the tight security arrangements. Similar events were also held in the other parts of the division, including the district headquarters, the contingents of the army, CRPF, JKP, NCC cadets, and the school students participated in the march past. Expecting a footfall of nearly 6 lakhs during the annual Amarnath Yatra, the Jammu and Kashmir's administration on Sunday issued the directions to widen walking tracks and build retaining walls with a special focus on laying down prefabricated cement tiles on the track at the Baltal. The directions were passed by the Chief Secretary PVR Subramaniam, who chaired the 10th meeting of the high-level committee of Sri Amarnath Ji Shrine Board. Naik Nishan Sharma of 10 Jammu and Kashmir Rifles who was critically injured in Pakistan firing along the line of control in Rajouri district last week succumbed to the injuries in the command hospital in Jammu and Kashmir's Udhampur district on Sunday. He is the third army personnel to have died in the ceasefire violation by Pakistan this month. Last year Jammu and Kashmir recorded 5100 instances of ceasefire violation by Pakistan along the LOC. the highest in the past 18 years with an average of 14 cases daily after a gap of over 2 and a half months the indian and chinese army on sunday held another round of corps commander level talks with the aim to move forward on the disengagement of troops from all friction points in the eastern ladakh the indian delegation at The talk is being led by the Lieutenant General PGK Menon, the commander of Leh Base 14 Corps. India has all been maintaining that the onus is on China to carry forward the process of disengagement and de-escalation at the friction points in the mountainous region. The full dress rehearsal of 72nd Republic Day Parade on Sunday concluded successfully across all the districts of Kashmir, giving a glimpse of the grand spectacle to unfold on Tuesday. The rehearsal is a precursor of the actual Republic Day Parade scheduled on to be held on 26 January. <laughs> Jammu and Kashmir recorded 73 new cases of the novel coronavirus on Sunday bringing the tally to 1,24,019 even as no death due to the virus took place in the last 24 hours out of the fresh cases 31 are from Jammu division and 42 from the Kashmir division the number of active cases stands at 1,103 in the union territory while 1,20,987 patients have recovered so far from the infection Security has been beefed up in Srinagar and other places in Kashmir ahead of the Republic Day on Tuesday as the forces have been deployed in the massive numbers around the venue of the January 26 functions across the valley. Random checking of the vehicles and frisking of passengers were being done at several places. Security forces have been asked to remain alert and more checkpoints have been erected in the city. The Divisional Commissioner Kashmir on Sunday conducted an extensive tour of Srinagar city to the stake the stocks of snow clearance measures, functioning of hospitals and restoration of the essential services. He emphasized upon all concerned departments to work in tandem and in cooperation to ensure snow is cleared from all links, interior roads, lane by lane, pavements and footpaths so that people do not face any inconveniences. Authorities in Jammu and Kashmir's Ramban district on Sunday issued an advisory for the passengers travelling on the Jammu Srinagar National Highway asking them to avail the facilities of the shelter sheds in case of inclement weather or suspicions of the traffic on the road. 
the advisor was issued by the Ramban district administration on the day when the two young men from North Kashmir were found dead inside the stranded vehicle at Banihal, the recorded minimum temperature of minus 1.6 degrees Celsius.